Good day, viewers. Welcome and thank you for joining us. You're watching Open Studio here on Cape Town TV. My name is Danny Kamba. I've got the world with me in studio who's from the Metropolitan. Okay, he's the marketing head of marketing within within the organization. And you know, we're just going to speak a little bit about how hard this pandemic has been. You know, and how hard it has affected many people when it comes to finances. So before we dig deep into this conversation and really get to know what Metropolitan is doing and what they're all about, is Llewellyn. Llewellyn, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. So, so for those that's watching at home right now that do not know you, you know, it's going to get to know you now during the show. Can you just give us a little bit, a little bio about yourself? Thank you. Yeah. So uh, Llewellyn and from Metropolitan, I'm the head of marketing. Um, we, or oh, I have been with the organization for about five years now, and we're busy changing the way Metropolitan comes across to South Africa. We're trying to introduce it as a brand that listens and pays attention to what's happening in South Africa. We're also a brand that's all about the collective. And what we mean by the collective is family, friends, any group of people that come together and try and do something better for the country or for themselves, uh, we call a collective. And we believe that we're here as an organization to inspire the power in that collective. And, and nothing is more evident than in you know, what we've been affected as human beings in the last year with COVID and how we can come together and do something stronger and learn something out of it. Yeah, no, definitely. Like, I mean, you just mentioned now how hard we were hit with the pandemic. You know, personally for you and, you know, people around you, how would you say has this period of the pandemic affected you or somebody you know financially? So, yeah, so it's 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 been tough. I think if I had to be honest, when the first wave hit, it was this thing that existed, but but you knew of it. Yeah. It, it hadn't yet touched, say, your lives. When the second wave came, it's very different. I have family members that have got sick. We've got friends and, and sort of second level family members that have passed away. It, it's more involved in your life today. Uh, from a financial perspective, you know, I've got a partner who hasn't worked um in over a year uh i haven't left the house i mean i work from home now as we were chatting earlier so so the whole way you see the world has changed quite fundamentally and i think that's been the impact i don't think we always realize just how much that impacts just your overall mental health and your well-being as a person to see how the world has changed around you and how you adapt to it. Oh, so how has Metropolitan been adapting to the current situation, you know, in trying to provide better service delivery, especially to people that, do, that have been uh, affected deeply by this pandemic? So, so from a sort of business perspective, we've never taken our foot off the petrol. Uh, we still pride ourselves in the turnaround of our claim servicing. We, we're an organization that, that does everything we can to turn claims around within 24 hours or less. And even during the, the, well, this last phase, we continue to do that. From a brand perspective, we've actually gone one step further. And we're saying, how can we actually enable South Africans to start the year stronger, to take more out of what the last year has been in their lives and, and learn from it so that 2021 can be a better year? And, and that's really been the big focus for us from a marketing perspective. Yeah. Wow, so the, 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 the organization has been growing, you know, to my understanding since when it started. So just for those that's hearing about this for the first time, can you give us a brief history about the organization? You know, how long is it active and what you guys are doing? Yeah, so, so we've been around for 127 years. Uh, it's an organization that's always been part of the fabric of South Africa. I'm sure if you ask most people and you said Metropolitan, a light bulb would go on and they'd remember the name. Uh, we're an organization that's always prided itself in being from the communities we do business with. So the people that work for us are, are people that have grown up in the towns and the cities that we do business in. We're an organization that's incredibly honest and real about the people that we do business with. We design products in a way that are relevant to those consumers. Uh, we sell funeral policies, we sell life policies, we sell education plans, and, and all of our products are designed and built around the needs of our consumers and making sure that their financial goals 
the, the plans they put out for their lives can be achieved. Yeah. I mean, you, you briefly just touched onto the product that you guys are supplying, you know, and I think maybe that is one of the, the, the points that you must really touch on, you know, for those that, especially myself, you know, and those that's watching that do not really know much about the organization. You know, if you can just give us a, a, a brief overview of, of your products and what it is that, you know, the organization is offering. So, yeah, so um, maybe to start with is our funeral product. Okay. Um, something that, that, that I can say to all of our products, our products are designed with the consumer. Mm -hmm. So it's very, so gone are the days of where you'd walk in and you'd buy something off the shelf. You can do that. So if you come to an advisor and you know exactly what you want, he can, he can find that for you. But most of our products, particularly our funeral product and particularly our life care product, you design it with the advisor. He will take you through certain questions to figure out what is it that's right for you and what is it that you can afford. And that's so important. It's so important that you are having a conversation with someone about your money. It's about that relationship with your money and your needs. And that's kind of core to our, to our entire business is that it is built around you and your needs and what you can afford. So yeah. whether it be that you're taking out a policy for 50,000 Rand for a funeral, so that if something happens to you, your, your, your family is not indebted, whether it's you're applying for a life cover of a million Rand, it, it's, it's a conversation um, that is done between two human beings to find the best solution for your financial needs. Wow, I think that's actually the best way to go about it, you know, in my opinion, where you actually make the, the, the customer involved, you actually get them involved and you get to hear what it is that they want. And in return, you offer them the service that they are, you know, they're asking. Absolutely. Wow. I mean, it's critical because at the end of the day, you're spending a lot of money on this and you're putting a lot of hope and promise on that when you're not there, uh, we as Metropolitan are going to come through for you. Yes. And we do. That, that's our, that, that's why we exist, is to make sure that your needs are fulfilled at the end of the contract. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much for that, Lowell. And so, you know, we're going to take a, a, a short break. When we come back, we're going to continue, but more with in your conversation as to, you know, how your organization is really working within, with, with these um, customers, really to offer them the service that uh, they are requiring and also ask for, especially in this period of COVID-19. So we'll be right back. Especially for those that's watching it right now, urge you to not go anywhere. Back All right, guys, welcome back. I've got Llewellyn with me in studio from Metropolitan. And like I mentioned earlier, we're speaking everything that's got to do with finances, you know, especially during the summer of the pandemic. So we spoke earlier on with Llewellyn about, you know, his involvement with the organization, which we're going to touch a little bit more um, right now, and also what the organization has been doing to assist people, you know, one-on-one -on -one consultation ready to find out what is the consumer need so that they can provide them with the best service possible. All right, Noelin, once again, welcome to the show. Thank you. But yeah, so Noelin, just, you know, to get to know you just a little bit more, your role within the organization as a head of marketing. Okay, tell us how do you what has been your challenges so far? Because, I mean, things have been quiet. You know, there's been lots of people out there asking for financial help. You know, how has your, your cup overflown over this period? Sure, yeah. Uh, cup overflowing normally means a good thing. I think during COVID, it's a little bit different. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, 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 absolutely. But it has been overflowing. I think at the very essence, is, is like I said with the product, is understanding the consumer's needs, understanding people's needs. And I think the one place where we've really noticed is that people have been suffering a lot of loss, not necessarily just money loss, but also loss of family members or friends because of COVID, loss of their own freedom, being stuck at home during lockdowns. So a big part of our focus has been to say, how can we equip South Africans to handle what may come in 2021. Yeah. And we've called this Mzanzi's class of 2021. And the campaign name is We Start 2021 Stronger. And as a business and as a brand, our focus has been on how can we help you to start 2021 stronger by creating conversations around these different loss 
uh, that, that people have been experiencing. Yeah, so tell us about the campaign that you guys have had, you know, where you've invited the nation to the you know, 2021 to tell the stories, if I'm not mistaken. You can just tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so, so how the campaign started was in early December, we, we, we started with a manifesto. We started with a promise and with a conversation to people saying, share with us, open up, feel safe enough to share what is happening in your life and, and, and what you've been experiencing. And we started with some videos of people that had experienced some pretty hectic stuff in their own lives uh, due to COVID. And it was really an invitation to say, just talk, open up. As we know with most periods of grief or, or you know, sort of talk about psychology, the first step is just being able to open up and to realize that you're not alone in what you're feeling. Yeah. And then the second part was to say, right, well, when you realize you're not alone, it's to realize then that there are other people that have experienced similar things. Maybe you can learn something from them. Maybe they've approached it in a different way. Yeah. And that's currently where we are right now is saying South Africa, there are so many different kinds of losses, but if you join a tribe or you join a conversation online, you can share that information that we do so well as South Africans in a collective. Yeah. So how has the response been from South Africa, you know, when you came up with this initiative? It's been incredible. Uh, you know, we, we started, you know, with the manifestos. We then moved on to a set of videos. We had Sumizi talking about his loss, uh, his real loss of family members, his mother. We had DJ Tira that came on board. He was talking about the loss and understanding financials. And then we had Rami Chirene, uh, who most people would know as an actress from, uh, from sort of television, uh, talking about that loss of well being. And yeah. we've spoken to millions of people uh, in the process. And people have just been opening up and sharing, sharing tips with each other, sharing ways to say, you know what, you're feeling quiet. What about this? Have you thought about, you know, talking to someone else have you thought about talking to your family have you thought you know including your, your friends and sharing with them and it's just been an incredible conversation that's opened up in that process yeah i mean you just mentioned some big names of people that they have been you know involved in this initiative and you know those people already carry so much publicity with them and they are able to reach so many more people so if we're looking at the the, the modern person you know the one that is not as famous or you know what can those people do differently you know, to add value to the current initiative? Join. Yeah. Join the conversation. Go on to Metropolitan ZA on Facebook or on Twitter and join the conversation. This is not a campaign just for celebrities. Oh, yes. The real power in this campaign is coming from everyday people like you and me uh, who are sharing. Uh, the power in this, in this campaign is coming from people coming together, forming collectors, healing each other, helping each other, sharing tips with each other, becoming an online book club or an, an online, uh, you know, sort of uh, community and, and, and empowering each other to, to get through what comes at you in life. Wow. And I mean, Metropolitan has been around for so long. For, you mentioned 124 years. Wow. So, I mean, by now already, the, the people should, should know you, you know, should know what is and who is Metropolitan. So as, as, as a head of marketing, you know, you still have to get content out there. How about this part of your job? Yes. Is, would you say, is it a challenging part of, 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 the, of the company or is this one that you feel it's such a breeze because, I mean, we've been doing this for so long and so many people must know us by now. So, yeah, so it's a double-edged sword. Um, yeah. I think from a perspective of credibility and trust, yes, 127 years, 124 years, 120 plus years, we, we, have the, we have the credibility to talk about loss. We have the credibility to talk about collective, you know, and, and coming together and sharing our slogan is together we can. So it's something that's in our DNA. But in terms of modern content and in terms of, uh, sharing information that's relevant to people. That is something that we really, really focus on. So over the course of the last few weeks, we've been having webinars every 10 days 
yeah. talking about different topics. The previous one, the one last week was about the hustle, about how do you how, how do you create a stronger hustle in 2021? Because people have been battling financially. So either they're not earning as much as they used to, maybe they're not earning at all, maybe they need to earn a bit more because they're looking after family members uh, that are battling. And having your hustle strong is important. You know, finding ways to, to turn your passion into rands, it, it, it's an important part of, of everyday South African life. Yeah. And I think that's how we're evolving our content. That's how we're finding ways to stay relevant with the content that speaks to this campaign right now. And I mean, Metropolitan is slowly becoming, or well, I mean, it's fast becoming a, a nationwide, you know, campaign. So we're going to take another short break. When we come back, we'll go on with our conversation, like you mentioned on, earlier on, together we can, guys. So do not go anywhere. All right, guys, welcome back. You're so tuned in on Cape Town TV, watching Open Studio right here. My name is Danny Campbell. Like I mentioned earlier on, I've got Lauren with me in the studio, who's from the Metropolitan. He's the head of marketing. So some of you might be wondering, what is Metropolitan all about? I'm going to have Lauren just speak to us a little bit more in case you just missed it or you just tuned in too late. So Lauren, um, just yeah, take us off again and tell us exactly what is Metropolitan. Metropolitan is an insurance company. Yeah. Uh, probably the easiest way to say it. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for long-term insurance, so insurance for like a funeral policy or a life cover policy or a children's education, or you're looking to invest some money, uh, you know, in terms of like a, a single premium. So you've got a large cash sum that you'd like to invest. We're the people that you own talk to. Um, I think what's unique about us is you're going to go and speak to a human being. So, you know, we've got branches across the country, uh, branches in, in Cape Town and in the Western Cape, where you can go and speak to an advisor and you can have a conversation about what are your financial needs and how can they structure something that's relevant for you. Yeah. But more than that, Metropolitan is a brand and a business that believes in the power of the collective, in the power of you and your family, you and your friends, you and your, your broader community, and what can you do together and what can you achieve when you work together? And I think that's who we are. We're a business that believes in people and believes in the people of this country and believes in the power that they hold within their hands when they come together. Well, I mean, and as, as you mentioned earlier on, uh, Metropolitan has been around for 120 plus years and you've been very, very involved, especially during the period of the pandemic you know, in trying to help and bring support to the people of South Africa. Can you just tell us about that and also the campaign that you guys have been running? Absolutely. So the campaign we're running is called hashtag we start 2021 stronger. It's yeah. been running since December and it's looking at how can we equip South Africans to start the year stronger, to go into this year feeling that they've got the tools at their disposal to, to maybe deal with what might come at us. And we've been doing this now lately through a set of webinars. They're free. Uh, you can go onto our Facebook page, Metropolitan ZA, um, and you can join the webinars. They're each Thursday, every 10 days. This week's topic is about mental health. Is it about saying, how do you enter 2021 with a stronger mindset to handle what might come at you? Last week's topic was about your hustle. How can, what are the, some of the tips and tricks that you can use to, to, to supplement your income. So last week we had Laduma from Akosa involved in the conversation and Mklali, a social media influencer in South Africa, who was talking about how can you convert your passion into an income stream? This okay. week we've got a clinical psychologist by the name of Linda Mtenjan, and we've got the founder of Mental Wealth ZA, who, uh, Mbali, who's going to be talking to you about what is your mindset how do you get your mind stronger to handle what 2021 might be? But also, how do you deal with the impact from 2020 on your mind and move forward uh, with a sort of stronger focus and a stronger ability and resilience to handle what the, years are, uh, the year might bring? And then our last topic is going to be on your financial wealth and your financial wellness. And how are you... How are you structuring your money? How are you structuring your expenses and your budget? How do you look at the world of money and prepare yourself 
So with a savings buffer, things like that, to handle what the year might bring at you. Wow. And I mean, those are uh, all those topics that you've mentioned are, are so fitting for the current situation. I mean, if you look at mental health, which is one of the biggest problems that we have globally, and it's just gotten worse during um, since the period of, of, of the pandemic. And, you know, just having to touch on that and speak to people about that, you know, it really, it really brings comfort knowing that, you know, there are people out there that acknowledge that this problem exists. So do you know uh, when about uh, does this campaign take place? Because you mentioned it's going to be this week or is it next week? This so it's, it's every 10 days until the okay. end of the month. All right. Um, so, yeah. yeah, so what's also quite cool is you can go onto our Facebook page and all the content is there from the, from the campaign. So you can go right back to some of the videos with the celebrities last year. You can find out the tips. We've been sharing tips the whole time and we continue to be sharing content that tells you and helps you with different ideas and thoughts to prepare you for this. And then, yeah, every 10 days will be a Zoom on a Thursday with different experts to talk about and have a conversation about these various topics. All right, so, so if we want to do that, you know, we want to come to your social media platforms, you know, and search you up and see what it is you're doing, how can we get involved, you know, and how can we, you know, reach out for that services that, that you are offering, how can we do so? So, yeah, so definitely the first place would be going on to our Facebook page, Metropolitan ZA, or our Twitter page. If that doesn't work, you can also go on to metropolitan.co.za, our website. If you'd like to find out more about our products and services, that would be a great place to go. And then we're also on LinkedIn. Uh, so between those four channels, you can pretty much find everything about this campaign and about our services. Otherwise, if you go on to metropolitan.co.za, you can find a branch or you can contact an advisor through our, um, our toll-free number and, and you can speak to someone who can give you some assistance, whether on your claim, applying for a job with us or talking about your finances. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much for that information, Lowell. And it's been a pleasure having you on set. You know, and we spoke so much about your organization and how you would and what you are doing to really help within communities. But you know, let's just come to you because, because I mean you you're such a, a you know a good gentleman having to go through all of this and still keeping sane. You know, I mean you just mentioned earlier on you're working from home. That kind of gets quite lonely. So what is what is in store for you for the future, you know, on going forward within the organization? Well. We're finishing this campaign at the end of Feb, and the next one's already in the wings being built uh, along a similar theme, also saying, how can we, how can we empower South Africans uh, and inspire the collective force and the power of bringing South Africans together for, for a good cause? Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna keep doing that. We're gonna keep finding new and interesting content that shows South Africans what they can do and what they can mean for the people around them. Um, we're rolling out a new product. We're going to be launching a, an updated and enhanced uh, life cover product. Uh, it's already with our advisors and sort of say out in shel on shelves, but we're going to be bringing um, some more focus to that product in the weeks to come. Um, and yeah, just keep moving on into bigger and better things and get the, the metropolitan name out there and have people realize that it's a good business, it's a great brand, and it's a brand that really stands for the power of the people of South Africa. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the information, Lowen. Lowen, it's been a pleasure having you on set today. It's been a pleasure having you speak to us a little bit about what the organization is doing and what you are doing to help our fellow South Africans. So, you know, we've come to the end of the show today, unfortunately, but we know it does not end here. Always go out there to the social media platform, guys, and search them. See how you can get involved with their campaign and also reach out for the services and see how they can just help you. So thank you once again, Lowell. It's been a pleasure having you on set today. Yeah, and for Thanks the so much. Oh, thank you guys. But until next time, bye-bye.